Approximately two weeks ago, OpenAI had hosted their Dev Day conference, where they had officially announced Canvas, a new way to code and write with ChatGPT. Canvas opens in a separate window, allowing you and ChatGPT to collaborate on a project similar as to how you would with Claude Artifacts. Canvas is a new interface within ChatGPT that's designed for collaborative work on writing and coding projects, which offers an interactive space for editing and revising content beyond just a simple chat. Currently, it's in beta, and Canvas is actually available to ChatGPT Plus and team users with plans to expand access to all users once it's out of beta. But guess what? I have found a free open source alternative to Canvas called Open Canvas by Langchain. It's an open source web application for collaborating with agents to better write documents. It comes with three key differences. It's an open source project with the MIT license. It has a built-in memory where it ships out of the box with a reflection agent with stores style rules and user insights in a shared memory store it also starts from existing documents which means that it allows users to start with a blank text or code editor in the language of their choice so these are three of the key differences that you would get with open canvas in comparison to the canvas that was released by OpenAI. Now, Langchain has done a great job in deploying a free version on their cloud portal in which you can access for free and you can also have it so that you can clone this repository. These are two methods that I'll showcase later on in the video. But essentially how this works is with this flowchart. You start off with the process which begins, then it leads into the generated path uh, node which is where a decision or a content path is created which you see over here. From here, you create and rewrite artifacts, which are documents or code that are generated. They're either rewritten or they are updated through different types of steps. Now from here, they all fall through with the generated follow-up step, which is where next actions are based on the changes made from the following updates. From here, it then responds to the queries. It handles questions or additional tasks, and it can also go back in this loop where it is able to reflect and clean up and end the process. Let's now take a look at some few features of Open Canvas. You have an artifact versionizing, which basically lets you view and revert previous versions of your work similar to how you would with Google Docs. You're going to be able to render React in your editor, which is going to let you see React or HTML code generated in Open Canvas, which can be rendered live in the editor. You also have the ability to make custom quick actions where users can define, save, personalize, and quick actions that persist across the sessions. You have multiple assistants in which you can deploy. You have custom tools that you can generate as well as develop. And you can access basically these personalized tools like custom graphs through remote graph integrations. You also have live markdown renderers where you can basically have markdown rendered live while remaining editable in real time. These are some of the features of Open Canvas. So now that we got a good idea of what Open Canvas is, let's take a look at how you can simply install this. Before we get started, there are a couple of prerequisites that we need to fulfill before we install this. Make sure that you have Python installed as your programming language. You need to make sure that you have Git installed to help us clone the repository. Yarn is also a prerequisite. And if you do not have it installed, you can simply install it using npm. So use this command and you're going to be able to install it onto your computer. And VS Code as our code editor. Once you have these prerequisites fulfilled, you can then head back into the GitHub repository, which I'll leave a link to, as well as all the other links that I used in today's video in the description below. Click on this green button, click on the copy to clipboard button, open up your command prompt if you're on Windows, type in git clone, and then paste in the repository link, and then click enter. This will start cloning the open canvas repository onto your computer. Then you can go ahead and copy the next command, which is cd open canvas to get into the directory. Once we are here, we can then install the dependencies via uh, yarn. So copy this and then paste this into your command prompt to install the packages. Now, what you can do is open up Visual Studio Code, which is your code editor, and open up the folder in which you just cloned. So find the open canvas folder wherever you had cloned it and simply open it up. Now, this might take some time for me because I'm blind, but there you go. We have it opened up. Go over to the dot example uh, file 
rename this to just the dot env and take out the period and the example and what you can do now is set your api keys for the lm providers you can either use anthropic open ai or you can even have it so that you can utilize olama by configuring the model now after you have set your key something to note is that this is only deployed or possible to be deployed if you have LangGraph Studio installed, which is only available for macOS. Once you have installed, you can then configure your LangGraph API URL so that you can deploy this locally on a local deployment server. Now, if you do have macOS, just follow through with this example. You can obviously ignore the next public self based URL if you do not want to have any sort of authentication. And if you do not want any sort of Langsmith tracking, you, you can set this to false. So simply just provide your LangGraph uh, API URL. And once you have provided your API key as well for your provider, uh, you can simply go into file and just click save. And then what you can do next is finally start the deployment server on your local host. So that's by simply copying this command and going back into our terminal and pasting this in to the directory in which we have installed. And then what you can do is simply open this up on our local host. So we can go and we're going to be able to start interacting with it over here. And this is where you're going to be able to start utilizing open canvas on your local host. Now, let's get started and showcase a couple examples of the writing and coding features of Open Canvas. In this case, you can have it generate a web page. So let's request it to do so. Create me a basic modern looking web page for a weather app. Make it look nice. Let's send this in and you're going to be able to see the generation being made live within the right hand panel, which you see over here. It's very similar to how you would have it generated with Claude's artifact or Anthropic's artifact feature. And in this case, you can download the code as well. You can iterate further by highlighting sections. And basically, this is going to allow you to work with ChatGPT to design your applications as you would with Anthropic. And say if you want to download your code, just simply click on the edit button over here and you're going to be able to export this code that it has generated. Now, remember that feature that I mentioned within the GitHub repository, which is the built-in memory? Well, this is something that you can access and see or track it basically recording all your generations. By clicking on this brain icon over here, this is where reflections will be shown. And you can basically search for all the reflections. In this case, I actually cleared all the reflections, but you will be able to track all the built-in memory stored from your generations over here. So now what I'm going to be doing is asking it to write me an in-depth essay talking about why AI might be harmful for the environment. So you can see that it's working on creating the topic and it looks like it has finished generating the essay. Now I'm currently in an editor mode, but you can go back into the preview to see how it looks with a nice sectioned essay report. Now to see the canvas, uh, I would say features that we saw on dev day, you can actually access all of them and you can try them out with open canvas by simply clicking on this bottom right tool which is the writing tools you have four of these different features the first one is by simply adding emojis and you can see that it will then go forward and add a couple of emojis to all the sections now once this is done we can then check out the other tools you have the ability to adjust the length of the content that you have so you can have it so that you can add it so that it is the longest so it will go ahead and regenerate the content so we can click on this button again and we can see that it's going to regenerate each of the topics so that it is the longest length now the next one is where you have the reading level this is where you can have it so that it is a phd you can have it so that it's a college level reading uh you have a teenager as well as someone who is a child now let's go ahead and let's co-change it to a child to see how it's capable of generating a content that is more geared to that. So we can see that it is changing the content up so it would be similar to how a child would be able to generate or read it. Now the next one is the translator feature. This is where you can translate it to five different languages. You have English, you have Chinese, you have I believe Hindi, uh, you have Spanish and then you have French. So let's go ahead and change this to French and within a couple of seconds you will have this easily translated. Now you can see 
these are the same features that we saw with canvas when it was released on dev day these are all the features that langchain has been able to replicate which is just simply insane and on each of the generations that we have done you can see that you can run this within Langsmith so that you can get a good track idea of what is happening on the back end this is a great way for you to track all the changes that are being made so that gives you a good idea and that's basically a gist of what open canvas is capable of doing there's so much more to this so i definitely recommend that you take a look at this in my opinion this is a great way for you to collaborate with chat gpt to easily build and write out whatever you would want to generate with the help of ai now i'll leave all the links that i use in today's video in the description below make sure you follow me on the patreon so that you can access different subscriptions to ai tools completely for free as well as accessing our private discord where we chat about whatever is happening in the ai space follow me on twitter a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest ai news and lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.